For instance, I, you know, this year I've been really busy and I've given this horse a lot of time off after the track. So when I came here, as far as teaching him tricks for the freestyle, he picked it up. He can learn a trick in just a couple of sessions, not even a couple of sessions. Sometimes the first session they can be so incredibly intelligent that can often get them in trouble because they think they're smarter than you. So you 
So they keep you sharp, for sure. You're never bored. They're a gritty horse. They're very, very tough. Um, and especially at the toppest, toppest, <laughs> the most upper level, you really need a horse that has that endurance still. Um, even though they've shortened the format, still, it's still coming down to the thoroughbred. So the good quality thoroughbreds that we can have um, to get the cross country done and to have that heart and to help you out when you're in a sticky spot, like we tripped and he's like, I'm gonna keep going, mom. So um, they're really a great horse. I mean, it's not just the prize money. That, that, that truly helps, especially for trainers like us who are, uh, you know, do this day in and day out. But it really is a great place to see all your friends. Like I have Mustang friends who have come and done the makeovers, done the thoroughbred. So it's been a really great atmosphere. It's great. I brought some young horses here with me as well because, you know, this is the type of atmosphere they need to get used to. So just coming here, I didn't expect to be in the place we were in, but I just figured, oh, heck, we'll give it a good school. Um, and so it really is amazing to be able to come to the uh, Kentucky Horse Park. And Stuart's done a great job of, you know, really trying to get the word out for the thoroughbreds. It's a really good program. Second place, Heron's Waltz and Elisa Wallace. Yes, you did good. You're going to get lunch. That so much safety. We have the heat head air vest over top of the Race Safe Provent 3.0 with the Race Safe Provent shoulder pads. And Elise has given it a try to see if it's something that she will feel comfortable in. The research shows that wearing shoulder pads can reduce collarbone injuries up to 80%. Um, and as she's demonstrating right now, <laughs> So it's definitely a wonderful addition to your equipment. How do they feel on? They're fine. Like I don't have any. It's not it's just an extra layer, so you just. It just feels like my shoulders have bras. Yeah. Shoulders have bras. Shoulders. They're shoulder bras. They're a shoulder bra. My thing is just like range of motion. Right? Ah. Like, does it really affect your range of motion? Oh, only if you're up here, but you hope to not be up in that situation. Yep. <laughs> I know when I do fall, I tend to hold, I try to hold on as long as possible, so my butt will take a hit and then my shoulders go. Well, think about you, you have nothing on I should wear this when I'm doing my groundwork because I've fallen. <laughs>
turn my phone over. So have you tried putting them on a lead rope? Putting a lead rope on them? <laughs> right. Would, do you think that would help? It might. 